Hey guys, how's it going? Brandon Fisher here with Fishy15.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can jailbreak iOS 6. So this is only compatible with the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, and the iPod Touch 4th generation. So it's only for A4 devices. This is a semi-tethered jailbreak as well, so that means if your device powers off or you turn it off, when it turns back on, you're not going to have access to Safari, Mail, or Cydia or Cydia related things. So in this case, when you do boot back up, you're going to have to plug your device into the computer and rerun Red no, and just boot tethered again and if you're not near a computer this can be a problem for some people so again this is a semi tethered jailbreak so you're going to be able to turn it back on and use your stuff just not everything let's go ahead and get started here first off let's check to see if your device is on iOS 6 so just go to your device go to settings general about scroll down to version and it'll say 6.0 after you've done that take your USB cable just plug it in and open up iTunes. You're gonna make want to make sure you back this up. Back up your device just in case something does happen to go wrong, even though it usually doesn't. But if you unplug your device during the process or something, and you might happen to lose all your, all your stuff. So right when you plug it in, it'll sync it and back it up for you. Or you can right click on your device if it's already plugged in and click back up. And just wait for it to back up here. Shouldn't take long because I just backed it up. Just a little bit ago and we are almost done while we're waiting for that you guys can go ahead and open up a internet browser I'm gonna use Chrome in this case I'm gonna paste this I'll have links for this in the description below this will be for Windows and Mac so it's good for both you guys um, again this is Red Snow 0.9.15 beta 2 go ahead and just download this save it to your desktop it'll be in a zipped file here And go ahead and show in Finder. Just double click on that, open it. And it'll unzip it for you. Right here, um, it's done backing it up, so go ahead and quit it. Now, open up Red Snow here. Just go ahead and hit open. And here we are. The first thing we're going to need to do is go to Extras select IPSW and you are going to need to have the 6.0 um, IPSW downloaded you can get that from a ton of different websites I will also have a link where you can get that in the description below so I have mine in a folder here um, 6.0 for my iPhone 4 here go ahead and hit open it'll say successfully identified hit OK go back and hit jailbreak let it do its thing here and you're just going to need to make sure install Cydia is checked don't worry about any of the other three options hit next and now you're going to need to put your device in DFU mode so to put this in DFU mode it'll have on-screen instructions but I'll just go ahead and do it with you guys go ahead and turn off your device so just hold the power button slide to power off and you're going to need to let's see if I can do this here hit next hold the power button for three seconds and hold down the home button while continuing to hold down the power button for 10 seconds now release the power button and continue holding the home button for 15 seconds now you can go ahead and release the home button and it just will do its thing on the computer and then it will transfer over and continue to do things on your device so I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward this process for you guys All right, guys, and now as you can see, my device is powered up. I'm gonna go ahead and just unlock it here. And you are gonna have Cydia here. I'm just gonna go ahead and open it, and it's not going to open, it's just gonna crash. So now we're going to go back to the computer. You go to extras, just boot, 
Now go ahead and turn off your device. Just hold down the power button here. Slide to power off. And now we're going to hit next and put your device back in a DFU mode. And I'll go ahead and go through this with you guys again. Hold down the power button for three seconds. Hold down the home button for 10 seconds without releasing the power button. And now release the power button without releasing the home button and continue holding that and you should be set to go. Alright, and after you guys are done with this, it'll say done on the computer screen and you'll see a pineapple logo booting up your device. So now we're just going to go ahead and wait for the device to boot up and you should be set to go. You'll be able to use Cydia and all that good stuff. So if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, be sure to leave comments below in the comments section. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Plus, everything like that. Links will be in the description below. So if you guys like this video, if it helped you out, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button for all my other videos. I do videos every time there's a new jailbreak, every time there's a cool tweak out, uh, technology, product reviews, and all that good jazz. So... Catch you guys later. Peace.